Adam Schefter on board to tell us what's what. Uh, Adam, we said that there were a whole bunch of candidates that were looked at for this position. How did David Culley win the job? Amazing story here, Kenny, because here's an assistant who's been in the NFL since 1994, who's never held a coordinator job. And if you would have said there's going to be someone from Baltimore staff to emerge to get a head coaching job, you would have thought Greg Roman, Wink Martindale. You would not have thought David Culley. But the Texans were looking for somebody who was a CEO, who was a leader. I don't think they were concerned about the X's and O's as much, the coaching per se. They wanted somebody to lead this organization, which has been rudderless lately, forward. And they identified David Culley as the man to do it. And he fills the last of the head coaching openings in this hiring cycle and obviously becomes the first black head coach to be hired during this cycle as well. Uh, Deshaun Watson has expressed his discontent down there. Is this going to change his mind, or do you still think he wants out? Depends on who you ask, right? The Houston Texans would tell you I'm sure that one of the things that appealed to them about David Culley was that they felt that he might be able to get an audience with Deshaun Watson and change his mind. I don't know that that's going to be the case. I'm highly skeptical that whoever they hired would have been able to change Deshaun Watson's mind. I don't think that will happen. I have been told that it wouldn't matter who they hired as head coach. I don't think David Culley will make a difference, but the Houston Texans are going to put every energy they have into making sure that Deshaun Watson is lured back to Houston. Though, again, a lot of people are skeptical that will happen. Coach Bianami over at Kansas City has the short-term consolation that he's in another Super Bowl, but he gets passed over seven different times. Why did that happen? Well, again, we could come up with any number of excuses, right? People have said, oh, he doesn't interview well. I don't believe that one. They can say that he had some blemishes on his record from college. Big deal. Many people did. Again, there are so many things they could come up against Eric Bieniemy with. The fact of the matter is, I, I think there's been a problem in hiring minorities in the NFL at the head coaching position. And maybe Eric Bieniemy is partly a victim of that. Whatever you want to call it, here's a man who has led an organization, who's a leader of men, who's respected by his players, who's endorsed by his players, and who continues to be passed up got to be very upsetting because he is absolutely deserving of a head coaching job. Adam Schefter, thanks for the knowledge. We'll see you next time. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.